And what happens is, is that one is more willing to walk away than the other. So when you see the divorce rate goes up, I don't think either one is more at fault than the other. I just think that one is more likely to initiate the divorce and walk away than the other. Because okay. we do to one another. All right. But doesn't that add make one sex worse if one no. is walking away more than the other? No. Ooh. That's that's debatable, but we we go, we moving on after we get the answers. Queen Sheba, what you got? Um, I'm I'm gonna have to ride with Sweeney on this one. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of throw in a monkey wrench. I think women fell more. Let me tell you why. Women have been women have been conditioned to be served. It's like a premier level of service, right? When you think about first class treatment. Women have been raised. Women have become accustomed to expect first class service from most men. And when we don't, I'm not saying we don't deserve it. That's not what I'm saying. But that's kind of, if, if you come up with somewhat decent adults around you that love you, they're going to try to pump that into you as a young woman, right? This is what he needs to do. This is what you need to look for in a husband. I think men try harder but they don't verbally communicate it, that they're trying. And as a result, the women feel like they're not being heard. And the men think, you should have seen me. I heard you. I just didn't say it, but I got you. To, you don't remember that time I did this? I did that. I heard you. Why I got to say I heard you? Because my actions should have spoke louder than my words. But women are looking for you to verbally validate. I heard you and I got you flowers today. Tomorrow, I got steakhouse reservations. And men are just saying, I did it. Why do I have to say it when I did it? And the woman is saying, I need you to say it because that makes me feel loved. And as a result, he's saying, but here it is. And she's saying, but you didn't say it. And I'm out of here. And he's like, well, go. And I'm being silly and I'm trolling right now. But if I just can break it down in the most simple manner, that's how it works. Men are more willing to try. Acknowledgement. That, that's that's all I'm saying. That's it. I and I'm basing that. that on my husband. Part when of I give my husband feedback, and I've come back, and I, he's like, "No, because I bought you told me you wanted A, B, and C, and D, and I did it, and I put it in front of you." And my husband has also said, "But I'm not going to change overnight. Give me." time. And I think that's a part of the conversation that most men are missing. Men, stop being afraid to tell her to give you time. Give me time. I heard you. Give me time. It that's it. I think women are scared to give a man uh, time because they think uh, it's never going to happen. Yeah. Either they give too much or they don't give enough. All right, Bruiser, what you got? I'll say women fail more. Anytime you walk away from something, you quit. Something that's unfinished, it's a failure. You didn't see it through. And it's because they got unrealistic expectations and unrealistic expectations turn into unreconcilable differences. A man pays the bills, he protect, he preserve life, he fix everything, he work 20 to 30 years until his back goes out. So she don't ever need anything on a consistent basis. So it's, un it's inevitable we may not give a damn about some damn love language from time to time. And then she just run away. So. Mm. All right. Lucky. What you got? I actually agree that it's women, but my perspective of looking at it is because women fail to even communicate it in the beginning. Sometime when we date or we go into the relationship and if it's so far in between, if he seems like the best option and however many times and she's going to be more focused on being accepted instead of laying down standards and rules. So then she starts to bend things and she starts to say, I'm not going to say those things. And then men pretty much just think we've been doing this. Like, what's the problem now? So it's been a problem. She's just been suppressing it to be happy to just be accepted. And then now later on down the line, she's unloading all this stuff that she should have communicated in the beginning. So he's not able to kind of mold into that. I'm not going to say mold, but whatever. He's not able to kind of adjust to those things because it's like we've already developed a way of doing it. Now I have to introduce myself to a new woman. Because now you're introducing all these things into the relationship, saying that this is what you need to feel love. This is what you needed that all along. You were just dismissing it when I wasn't doing it because you wanted to be accepted. You wanted the relationship. 
now you got the relationship you kind of feel like you hook now you want to tell me all these different things and i'm of the belief women women's wants about how they feel love change so if a man can't keep up it's like or he feel like bitch i'm not doing this all the time like i'm not doing this and then it just becomes something where he gets more comfortable and women always have to be excited oh we went on a double date her husband did that to her why you don't do that to me now that's my love language or you know what i'm saying so i think we, we as women we sh we switch it up and we expect men to kind of get on the same way so i'm gonna say we fail by way of not communicating it initially you saying okay. women are stimulate with other women when it comes to things like that oh absolutely that's interesting uh, okay. um, i got i got one quick question before you move on trigger mike yeah the thing i wanted us to because I'm, I'm gonna go off of y'all assumption that love languages is real i'm just just for the sake of argument do we focus too much because somebody in the comments said this but i wanted to ask this question to begin with do we focus on too much on what love language we desire versus the love language that the person actually operates in and they Ooh. give? Because a lot of people tend to talk about the love language that they want and not necessarily understanding that somebody may not provide the love language that you want. And should you love, should you let somebody love you the way that they want to show love? No, I'm not. I think you should teach people how to love you and treat you. So I think that people should love you to the capacity you see love. Because, for example, if we in a relationship, Sweeney, you might not trip that I don't text you for hours and hours or acknowledge anything. Me, it might be, you know, I might trip on that. So that's just because you don't care about it doesn't mean I care about it. You ever been in a relationship and now you're trying to address a problem and then they want to address a problem from a long time ago in your time of addressing a problem. It's like, no, you you have to pretty much pick up what I'm saying. You can't just come in here now having a problem with something because I do. That doesn't mean because you wouldn't get mad at it. I can't get mad at it. So I think you should love people the way they see love, not the way you want to love them. Personally. I want to piggyback off of Sweeney yep. real quick. Oh, he's, I can't hear him. You, Bruce, Bruce, we can't hear you. What I was saying was, it, 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 the reason why I said that was wrong because it's a charitable action. You gotta let people love you the way they love you. It's something that comes from them and you gotta love them the way you love them. But people are using it as a way to make a demand. Like, I want you to love me the way I want to be loved. You're taking the charity but Then we won't them. feel loved if they not loving us the way we love them. That's what I was trying to say about what we It's charitable. If they don't wanna do it, that means they don't want to do it. Imagine be with, being with somebody that you got to force them to love you. It's not authentic. It's not genuine. Oh. That's it. Yep. And I'm not saying all the time. Like, I agree really? with that, that point. Like